What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you some advanced rebasing techniques and how you can take multiple branches, do some individual rebasing, and then actually end up with a nice linear history. So let's jump into it and I'll show you cool tips and tricks on doing git rebase. So to give you a visual, we're going to start with three different branches. We're going to have our main branch, feature, and then another feature. The feature is going to be based off of the initial commit where we have another commit on main that we need to pull in to our feature branch. And then we're going to do another branch called another feature. And that is going to be based off our feature branch, which is going to get rebased. And so I'll show you one, how to do an interactive rebase to fix the middle one. And then another rebase where you can do it onto and fix the, the another feature so that you don't lose all your history at the end of it. This is where we're going to end up with, which is a really nice linear history with all of our commits, which will have different shahs. So note that they will not be exactly the same shah, but we'll end up with this nice, nice clean history and we'll merge everything into main and we can push it to production. So let's jump into it. To get started, we have our two commits here on main. And then if we go to our feature branch, we have a couple of commits there. And then if we go to our another feature, then we have our updates on feature that is branched off of the additional work done off of that branch. So let's start with our feature branch. And I'm going to do this in this order so that I can show you a couple of different techniques. Realistically, you would probably start with the root, like the very end and then collapse everything down. But let's imagine that two different people are working on them. Let's say you're working on the another feature and it's taking you a little bit longer, whereas I'm working on feature and I'm super fast. So my work is done here. <laughs> now, if we wanted to do an interactive rebase, we would do git rebase dash I and main. And something to note here is if that commit on main was not already in our, our branch locally, we would have to do a git pull, but it's already there, so we'll just do a git rebase i main. And this will bring up this prompt here where you have multiple options. So this is essentially a script that gets run. And so we have these two commits that we have and we can change them however we want to. So the normal thing that a lot of times happens is you will squash. And so if you, you're using vim, you'll do a change in a word or a change word and you can say s. And so pick is the default and it just uses it. S is shorthand for squash. And you can see that right here where you use the commit, but it gets merged into the other one. And I'll show you what happens at that point. If you need to just edit, so like you need to reset the authors for a commit, then E is your friend here and it will stop on that commit. So you can reset the authors or like change a commit message or whatever. Reword is going to let you change the commit message so you don't, you don't have to stop. And then pick is the default and then fix up. You're basically just throwing away the other commit message and then squashing it up. So the thing to note here is it's going to squash up. And so if you wanted to actually have this one, you know, be changed, then you can reorder them. You could actually do something like this. Uh, the, but the top one does have to be a pick. So if you wanted to reorder them, do a pick, squash this, this would probably work for us. I'm just going to do it in this other order because I know it works. So we'll squash our last commit up into the previous one and go about that that way. So if we do a colon X, that will close this file because we're in Vim and save it. And then get dropped into this prompt. And so note that we're squashing here. So we have two commits they are being squashed into one and you get the ability to pick whichever commit message you would like and you could even change it. So you could say like new file added and additional work done. And then all the comments don't matter here. You can delete this and we'll do a colon X and that'll save it. And then if we do a git log, then we see that new updated commit message with new file added and additional work done all as one. And then we can actually merge this into main because we now have that commit on main. So you can see the main commit is already here and we can go about it that way. Now let's say the work here on feature is done, 
but we want to go to another feature. Now all of our changes have been wiped away because we were basing off of that other commit from this example over here. And so C no longer exists. So like this is no more. Oh, we only have B, which you could call it like a different like BC commit, but we don't have that anymore. And so if we tried to merge, we would have all kinds of conflicts. Now I'm going to show you a different way to fix that. And so we can say git rebase dash dash onto, and we're going to say feature because that's the branch we based off of. And this is going to change that base, essentially do a git reset hard down to the base and then take our commits, put them off to the side, bring them back and put them on that new base. So this will avoid some merge conflicts as well as making things a lot better for us. So if we do this and then we say head tilde and then however many commits we have. And on this branch, we only have one. So we're going to do that. And we do git log. Then we see we now have the work that was done on main as well as the new file added and additional work done commits and then our work right on top of that. So now if we go to main, then all of our stuff is not here, right? And we can say git merge another feature. And that brings all of our commits here. And we have all of them on our main branch. And now we can ship them to production and have them ready to go. Oh yeah! If you like videos like this, be sure to like and subscribe so others can see it. And I'll have more of these in store. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.